948, it's getting late. Mark Rushton and Mark Rushton Gallery.com. This is last night's book painting. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna have to uh get this painting um mounted. So these are book paintings. These are uh, books that are damaged or were going to be thrown out. And uh, this is a very difficult math book. And so I paint my little land abstract landscape motif on there. With a, a hint of Rothko every now and then, I guess. I don't know. Playing around with it. Now it's time to, well, I'll get it titled and in the catalog later this week. For now, put this on there. I'm going to get that on there. A little bit lower. That's pretty good. Now I got to go and... Uh, Oh my gosh, people are showing up tonight. I better get to work. This piece is crimped. Okay. <clears throat> so then what I do, once we got the, uh, I like to uh, mount it to the cardstock with a Tyvek tape here. As long as I don't move this. I didn't move it. Mount that on there to the card stock, and then that way, you know, there's your, uh, I think maybe I wanted that a little lower. Did I? I did. Oh, bummer. Well, we must. Artist problem here. A little bit lower. Lower, dude. That's good. That's where I want it to be. There you go. That's nice. That's very good. So that's a book painting. And uh, that's a book painting. I really like that one. That's a book painting. I make book paintings. So this is something that I used to do. I used to work a little larger and this, 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 this kind of sucks. And so we need to, I need to uh, do some changing on it. But first, first, I'm going to be drinking some of my kefir here. 100% uh, grass fed, organic vanilla kefir made with Amish and Mennonite cows, milk. Mmm. Kelowna Supernatural, Vanilla Kiefer, link is in the description, available coast to coast in the United States. A little bit of lemon water, because, you know, that's a good thing. So this, this is an older, uh, it looks like we've got ink and paint here on Spun Bonnet Olefin. Spun Bonnet Olefin is a uh, product uh, from DuPont, commonly known as Tyvek, but they have so many different varieties of Tyvek and spun bonded olefin. It was uh, created as a waste byproduct back in the 50s, formulated, patented by 1967. It's moisture resistant, it's recyclable, it's archival, and I've been working on this product for 30 years off and on. And I made larger paintings, but I'm not really making larger paintings anymore. So we're going to, and this one I'm not happy with. So make it half the size. And then I'm going to redo it.
guess I could redo it on the front or the back. Man, I need to sharpen these scissors. Take that one, put that off to the side there. <sighs> it's Tuesday. January 31st. How's your day going? Mine's fine, I guess. All right. You don't sound very enthused, Mark. Well. Why be enthused? All right. So this is an 8 by 10 opening for something that would be frame in an 11 by 14 frame. Um, so let's do that. A little bit bigger. Normally I'm uh, been putting in everything in like five by seven or eight by 10 frames, but it's good to have an expanded product range, isn't it? Or at least attempt it anyway. I used to make much bigger paintings, but I don't care about that anymore. Bring that back here and see how that looks. Yeah, it looks good. I do like the um I like the sky. Like you get this cloud and then down here, but this red just does not work. Just everything from here down um, needs a little work. So I'm going to leave the sky portion alone. I should, probably I should probably mask it off. You know, that might not, that might not be such a bad idea. It's just going to roughly mask it off. And since it's already been inked, it should not come up and anyway i use this no i don't want to use this i don't want to use this yeah we'll just we'll wing it we'll wing it man went back to the steam room tonight after a night off and i'm glad i did glad i went to the steam room It really does uh, test your limits. I go steam room for about 12 to 15 minutes and cold shower. Steam room for a few more minutes, cold shower. And then I like to do a couple more minutes steam room. And of course, plug in that steam as much as possible. There we go. We're gonna go with that. See what that sepia does. We need to make that a little more earthy and a little less purple and red. See how that goes. We can leave a little bit of purple in there. You're not gonna get too much action with there with the sepia. No, you're not. Not much at all. Hmm. I'm going to have to go with paint, aren't I? This is a, at some point, the ink is diminishing returns. So, I do wanna, let me just run a little test down here. The off section here with the primary cyan. Uh, 
Yeah. I'm not convinced. We have to use paint. That's fine. Put that off the side there. If you're going to transform it, radically transform it, and then figure it out from there, you know? It's all right. Went out to the casino today with my parents. Just something we normally do on Tuesdays. I think I ended up being up about ten to fifteen dollars. They were not up, but they weren't that far down. That's okay. She want it like that. Yeah, I want it. I want it like that because it's portrait mode. Uh, that was nice. Sorry, I'm not very talkative tonight. A lot on my mind. But it's nice to get in here and <clears throat> turn the camera on and well, try something different. Getting into that groove of... Um, you know, I did uh, book paintings for a while and then I did the... Uh, Thermal printed photo collages, lo-fi, did that for a while, back to book paintings, now back to this. I should do a drawing here soon, maybe, I don't know. That might be a good idea. Maybe there's not enough pink in there. Like I know. Like I know what the right amount of color is supposed to be. Thinness. Who knows that? Going on above me. Can't tell.
Hmm. Where are we here? 15 minutes. Well, I don't think this is done, but I think this is done for tonight. I didn't want to do anything with the sky and I think it's fine. I wanted to get, I wanted to transform the field part, but I got to decide how I want to op, um, alter this because obviously I'm going to want different lights and you know, shifting of the earth and all that sort of stuff. And I don't think I can do that until this part dries because I do like how this is. We'll see. I think I'm done for tonight. Thanks for hanging out. This will just be a short little thing and uh, I get to work on it again tomorrow. Work on a little bit more tomorrow. So thanks for stopping by.